you know, I always thought I had to wait for someone to give me permission to <laughs> be bold and be myself. I spent a lot of years thinking, you know, I'm not pretty enough, I'm not bold enough, I'm not, you know, whatever. And we come up with all these excuses to kind of not really be who God made us to be. No, I can, I can draw people. I can do realistic work. Um, I, I feel like for me, there's something missing. Sometimes we look at a traditional painting, let's say, of Mary. We tend to think, oh, there's Mary. Okay, we just walk on by. But if it's an image of Mary that we are just like, this is totally unique and different. And I, why did they do that? You're actually standing in front of that image and contemplating Mary and her attributes and her holiness. Yeah, so a lot of people, the first thing they notice about this painting is how many different colors are in her face. And I didn't actually intend to do that. It just kind of happened. Holy Spirit, right? It happened. And so, um, yeah, so I just love that that can really speak to people. I've, I've heard that a lot with this piece. I just love that, you know, you can see all these different races and ethnicities within her and I think that's beautiful because she always does come and wherever she's appearing she looks like the people that she's appearing to which is which is wonderful. I once heard that being an artist is like being crucified every day. <laughs> You're really putting part of yourself um, on the canvas. You know once it's out in the world People can do with it what they want, you know, they can comment or, um, you know, and it's a very vulnerable place to be. It looks like drops. You know, it's, it's the people who are bold enough to just be themselves and be who God made them to be. Gosh, they're the ones who set the world on fire, you know? Stop being afraid. Be bold. <laughs>